Hey everyone, I'm Freeze Engine and welcome to my first impressions of the bow in Hunt Showdown and also a small little bow guide to help you get into the newly introduced weapon of Hunt Showdown. Just a quick reminder, I usually stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday at around 8 or 9 p.m. Central European time. If you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram and or Twitter, links to those below, where I usually post a small heads up video so you know when I'll be going live. Now with that all out of the way, let's head into the guide. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is the range and the aim of the bow. So the bow is very very useful for close and close medium range targets. It has a very fast hip fire if you don't draw the bow to its full extent, with the downside being that it deals not all too much damage. As you can see in the video, I need two of these uncharged shots to the chest to kill a zombie. Now, of course, the more you draw your bow, the more damage it deals. This way, targets at medium range become mostly one-taps, especially NPC targets like hives or regular zombies become one-taps at a medium distance if you draw your bow to its full extent. Now, when it comes to aiming, the arrow usually hits at the tip of this little wooden pin right at the bow. But as you might see in upcoming clips, it sometimes has a tendency to hit somewhere above and to the right of this little wooden pin. At close and medium ranges, the bow basically functions like it has hit scan. You do not have to lead your targets and you do not have to compensate for drop off. The arrow is very, very fast. Only when it comes to longer range shots, that's when you have to start compensating for the arrow to drop and maybe leading targets as well. As you can see in this clip, these two pictures are one frame apart, which means when you release the bow, it kind of like jumps down a bit. And here you can see where the arrow actually hits. So it has a slight drop as far as I could notice during my gameplay session yesterday. Now, the rate of fire is very good if you do not draw the bow to its full extent. As I said, the damage suffers from this, but it can be a quick way to deal with zombies or even get in a quick follow-up shot that finishes off hunters. Sway is barely noticeable, to be completely honest with you. I did not have to adjust my aim because of sway or anything. And even when fully drawn, the bow sway does not increase over time and it's very controllable. The full drawn bow can be held for as long as you like and this way doesn't really increase to an extent where it's uncontrollable, like with some other medieval simulation type of games. Now, when it comes to damage, usually most targets at close range are one shots. This is true for hunters as well as most of the AI, excluding armors or Constantina armors, which can be killed with two fully charged headshots. Now at medium range, the bow roughly takes off three quarters of your health bar and do not forget this, it causes bleeding damage. And also, do you notice anything strange here? Do you see it now? Yes, you can actually take out the arrow that was shot at you, which is stuck inside of your body and add it to your own ammo arsenal. This is a very, very cool feature that I, at first, I didn't even notice. But yes, you can pick up and use enemy arrows that stick inside of your body. Now, and if you're not careful, this bleeding will kill you. Here's a clip where I was completely oblivious to the bleeding effect and I thought I was hit by another arrow. And only later I noticed that it was just the bleeding damage finishing me off. I've noticed that the bow and arrow has quite the big damage drop off at longer ranges, which means you have to get in more hits with it if you're trying to fight enemies at a longer range. And now for some traits, loadouts and what's to come. There are two bow specific traits which you can earn during the next few days of the event. The first one being the Dew Claw, which actually gives you a melee attack variant for the bow. Because right now, when you melee attack with the bow, you just kind of like shove with the bow. But I personally think, judging from the art of the trait Dewclaw, it's most likely a thrust attack with an arrow. 
The second trade which you will be able to unlock during the event is the 100 hands trade. This increases the damage dealt by the bow at a fully drawn state by 25%. This might help during those long range fights where usually the damage drop is quite significant but with the 100 hands trade you are able to deal a lot more damage when your bow is fully drawn. As for loadout suggestions, the bow has a medium slot so without quartermaster you have to pair it with another medium slot weapon or a small slot weapon. You could also pair it with a more powerful rifle like the Mosin Opress or a faster rifle like the medium Winfield variants. If you do not care to fill out the slots completely, you might also take an uppercut with you, which is very good for the long range fights, or just another revolver or pistol that you enjoy playing. For me, the Nagan Officer or maybe even a Limat, so you have that extra shotgun shell. But that's that's adjustable to your own playstyle and favorites. And now for the things that are still to come, other than the traits, uh, we are still getting the poison arrows, the concertina arrows and also frag arrows. It will be interesting to see, as one viewer pointed out yesterday, uh, we're all wondering if the poison arrow, first of all, if it deals poison ammo after a single hit, or if it's like the poison ammo for the revolvers and stuff where you have to hit your target twice to apply the poison effect. Also, we were wondering if the poison arrow can and will deal bleeding damage as well. Because then, oof, holy shit, this would be kind of OP. Dealing poison and bleeding damage in a single medium range or close range hit. This would be insane to be honest. I'm eager to see how this all implements in the coming days. And just as a quick summary, I really, really like the event so far. The bow gameplay is very engaging, very fun, very different, and I highly recommend you checking it out. So these were my first impressions and sort of like a small beginner's guide of the bow gameplay in Hunt Showdown. If you'd like, you could join me tomorrow in my next live stream, Friday the uh, 27th of August. <laughs> So if you like, come hang, we'll play some more bow, we'll even get to check out the poison arrows and generally just having fun. With that being said, I'm Freeze Engine, have a good one and see you next stream. Zardas. Für Zardas. Macht bedeutet alles. Du hast dich entschieden. Für Zardas. Zardas. Für Zardas.